Hi, in this tutorial I show you how to make birch tree landscape background. Choose Line Segment Tool. Draw a line holding Shift. Stroke color should be black. Change stroke to 25 points. Change profile to this one, 6. Go to Object, Expand Appearance. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Roughen. Click Preview and change point to smooth. Set up size as 1% and detail 15. And click OK. Go to Object, Expand Appearance. Choose Selection Tool and change size to be more flattened. Make another copy holding Alt, click and drag. Change size to flatten it more. Make another copy with holding Alt and flatten more. Copy this one, holding Alt and change size. Copy this one, holding Alt change size, big one Flatten more. It's okay. Select this two, go to Pathfinder and click Unite. Make another copy, change size. And another copy, this one, and copy this one. Maybe change size a little. It's okay. Select and click Unite. OK. Select all, go to Object, Path, Simplify, click Preview and set Curve Precision as 99% and click OK. Make sure all are selected and go to Effect Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Check Preview and make 10 copies. Move 110 
and click OK. Go to Effect Transform. Now move horizontal to zero and vertical. Check preview and vertical. Go, go. 90 pixels and click OK. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, Ungroup twice. Right click your mouse, click Ungroup, again Ungroup. Select all, go to Object, Transform, Transform each. Scale to 5% and 5%, check preview and random and move 100 and 100, rotate 5 and click OK. This is our texture. Now it's time for birch tree trunks. Before you start, select all and group. Right click your mouse, group. Select rectangle tool and draw a few rectangles in different size. Select all three trunks and go to Object, Transform, Transform each. Set angle to 5, move 0, scale 0. Sorry, scale 100. 100%. Make sure random is checked and click OK. Make sure all trunks are separated. We have to move this one. Select all three trunks. Go to Object, Path. Add anchor points. Now go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Roughen. Check Preview. Change points to Smooth. Size 0, 0,3 and Detail one and click OK. Go to Object, Expand Appearance. Change color to each one on light gray. Select three trunks and group it. Right click your mouse, click group. Make a copy of this group. Edit, copy, edit, paste in front. Lock one of the group. 
the other one, select, go to Pathfinder, Options, and click Make Compound Shape. We have to expand it here. Now we have Compound Path. Do the same with the texture. Select, go to Options in Pathfinder, and click Make Compound Shape. We have to wait a while. Now click Expand. Move texture a little. Select three trunks and texture. Make sure that texture is on the bottom. Go to Pathfinder and click Crop. Go to Arrange and click Bring to Front. It's look really nice, but we add some light and shades. Unlock this group and make a copy. Select, go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Front. Right click your mouse and choose Isolate Selected Group. It will be easier to work. Select all and make another copy. Edit, copy, edit, paste. Lock one of the copies. Select group and make compound shape. Pathfinder options, make compound shape. Expand. Hold Alt and Shift and make a copy moving a little right. Select all and go to Pathfinder and click minus front. Change color to white. Now lock this group and unlock this one. Select. Go to Options in Pathfinder. Click Make Compound Shape and expand it. Make copy with Alt and Shift, moving left this time. Select all and click minus front. Change color to dark gray, this one. Unlock this group and back to layer. It's look very nice. We need some background now. Select all and group it. Right click your mouse, click group. Draw a rectangle, choose rectangle tool, change color to blue,
make a copy edit copy edit paste in front one of them send to back uh, right click your mouse arrange send to back select everything go to pathfinder and click crop Our birch tree background is finished. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like a video. If you like my work, please support me via PayPal. You find a link in comments.